Hi YouTubers, Dave out in Western PA USA. I'm working with uh, actually the research on solid state uh, cells, batteries, primary cells, and uh, primary batteries. And uh, I'm uh, generating conducting thin films for use with uh, zinc and manganese. And uh, the ultimate goal is to use. Uh, as I mentioned, solid state electrolytes. Uh, power output is very light, very small, but steady. It has uh, certain applications. Michael Murray's uh, approach, uh, Michael Murray Smith, uh, Smith's approach to um, preparing sheets of uh, uh, graphite, which can be used in uh, battery applications, as, for example, an electrode. I want to just show you something here. Uh, as uh, uh, Murray Smith pointed out, you have to experiment with different surfaces. You can't just try one material and then it doesn't work and abandon it. Now let me show you what I mean. Here first is a thin film of cross-linked gelatin. And I rubbed it with flake graphite, kindly provided by the graphite uh, mills uh, company in Asbury, New Jersey. They're very supportive of my work, but what we're seeing is after even rubbing for 15 minutes the flake graphite with cloth, according to the Murray Smith procedure, I'm not getting any uh, resistance. I mean, there's, there's nothing there. Now, over here we have a piece of polypropylene surface, rectangular piece, and we're down to 314, 309, 306, 142, 280, 269. This is very, very good. Now towards the edge is not as good, see, 1268. It's still reasonably acceptable. Now there, see, at the edges, not as good. 14, 13. There's a good one, uh, 5, 519. And I've been working it heavily in the center. So there's 293 uh, ohms. That's conducting nicely, very nicely. Now, how am I doing this? Over here, I've just grabbed the uh, cam. I myself, I use a glass tray, and I'm only cutting small sections. See, I'm not making huge sections. So there is this uh, paper holder that you put in three ring, two three ring binders. Uh, the material I'm using is sea line copper. In case you want to try to track this down to reproduce this, be very careful what surfaces you're using because you may not get very good results. You have to try different materials. Now, as uh, Michael Smith, Murray Smith, uh, had pointed out, uh, he was using this polypropylene and got very good results, and I was able and others to reproduce that. Now, what I do is I use this glass tray and I put in the uh, Graphite. Here's the Asbury carbons from the Asbury Graphite Mills Company, incorporated in uh, Asbury, New Jersey, and uh, that's what I've been using. And I dropped the rectangular piece of a future electrode into the glass tray and rub it with paper toweling. The piece I just showed you there that we did measurements on, I uh, rubbed that for a solid 15-20 minutes. And then I go over it. You can use an orbital sander, but I have these brass plates with a, uh, looks like a polyurethane foam on the bottom. And I give it a once or twice over like this. And uh, you're good to go. Now, in a prior video, here's an aluminum air battery. After 24 hours, it went from an open voltage of 135, 1.35 volts to 1.31.
that's not too bad and you can see that I have a piece of aluminum foil and over that I have uh, a separator, an insulator which uh, is uh, a thin film made from polyvinyl alcohol and over that I have uh, aqueous sodium hydroxide which is not great on aluminum but you can get a higher potential with that and then another piece of uh, paper toweling and there's activated carbon manganese dioxide catalyst on that and of course that's your oxygen which uh, is undergoing reduction and the aluminum surface is being oxidized so in this case the uh, aluminum of course is your anode and the activated carbon and manganese dioxide uh, is uh, accepting the oxygen and that is your uh, cathode and you can see that I uh, have one electrode uh, uh, alligator clip hooked up to the uh, sheet of conducting film which is the electrode and of course the others hooked up to the aluminum uh, I like the potential this is held up for 24 hours so let's give you a uh, current now don't expect spectacular results but it's steady 133 microamps and I put this cell together in all of 15 minutes and uh, of course I'll be working on this and uh, starting to introduce conducting thin films as solid electrolytes but I will definitely be using Murray Smith's approach here with this uh, thin layer uh, conducting electrode made from uh, sh sheet graphite and uh, expandable uh, graphite I have other samples coming in from uh, Asbury uh, coming in uh, the Asbury graphite mills um, other materials uh, expandable graphite I'll be using and uh, I'll be working with graphene and other materials but to get you up and running uh, this was an excellent uh, finding by Murray Smith and you see that current's pretty good. That's been like that for 24 hours, pretty steady. That's a short circuit. And uh, I'll keep you posted on what I'm up to. But try different surfaces and uh, see how you do. It just went up a little, 135 microamps. And uh, you give it a, a try with different materials. You may find polyurethane may be a good material. But uh, that's it, polypropylene and uh, to keep too much of the graphite dust from around, I would suggest that, depending on the area you're producing, uh, use a tray. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.